enjoy marine uh, marine marathon and i'm having quite a lot of experience in the industry and currently i'm working uh, our organization as a tableau report developer and i have good experience on tableau cognos arthur after some years and i'm working on cognos and arthur and tableau i'm having in more than 2.5 years of experience and i have uh w i just have like 8.0 8.1 8.2 and part of camel trainings and uh, i used to give uh, training on that yeah this is my daily interaction and coming to my coming to this ppt introduction on that first what is that it is a reporting tool and it is a data visualization tool where we can see the data in dashboards uh it that was give us nothing but uh, n number of worksheets n number of worksheets and n number of worksheets all together we uh, uh, take in one sheet that called that sheet is called like dashboard n number of works dashboard contain n number of worksheets and what is workbook is n number of worksheets and n number of dashboards is called work workbook and this is about uh, dashboard And it also have it is very easy to connect to the different data sources like uh, flat files or database. Uh, flat files is nothing but uh, Excel, CSV, comma separated, any flat file. That will support any uh, flat file, so we can pass the flat files and build the data report. And also database. A database is nothing but uh, R, it's like uh, R key. That will support any number of database. R key, SQL Server. Process is called better ways. Like this, it will be a for n number of database. And it will to develop a report. It will take less development time and access to the data is faster. It's like a drag and drop options. So where we can build the table, it's very easy to learn. So also connecting to the data and report. We can connect the data and we can build the reports without writing any single line of code. No need to write any code. In the other chest, we will connect to if we are connecting to flat files, we will connect to the flat files. If we are connecting to database, we will connect to database and pick the tables, and we will get the data from there and we will bring to the table. But in that development side, we need to write some function functions like we need to write some function. So for this, we should know some SQL knowledge also for this. Without SQL knowledge, we cannot build the table. Why? Because we need to write some function like case statements. This statement, like this, we need to write some content. So I guess minimum mm, experience on tablets today, and also it's a powerful analytical tool. By seeing the dashboard, we can see the whole business is going on. Like this, so uh, this um, it is a powerful analytical tool, and also by your uh, fingertips, you can use the uh, dashboard to make them build the dashboards here. Yeah. Also. Okay, it is very easy to learn. As I say, really, it is very easy to learn, and it is a drag and drop technology. So it is really like user friendly, right? Because the users are uh, having their own database, and we are having their if we have having minimum knowledge on that, users can also can create their own reports. Well, right? because users know the data, they are having the data in itself. They can know the value minimum things. They can. Create their own reports and they can see the data. Just like user, and also uh, in Tableau, data stores in, in memory. It stores the data in RAM or flash memory, and processing speed will be much faster than stores in disks. If we have data stores in disks, uh, uh, to access the data, it will take. Uh, but here, the Tableau is in memory, so the performance of the reports are good. Performance while connecting the data also is very fast, and more than 10,000 hours will be. Able to tap in in my case and and also in thousands of people are uh, are sharing the data in their tablet or you know, like blogs or uh, website in like communities will be there so n number of people are using tablet and also the visualization is very good in this tablet and we can access the data not only from our PC we are having Mac or even Android tablet like iPad through this also we can access our tablet reports where we have Ever clearly, so we can see the tablet reports in here also in this way. So it is like user friendly and it's very simple to learn tablet. Uh, and also, it's uh, connecting the data in two ways: it's live connect or extract. This is very important uh, to develop a tablet report. First, we need to connect the data. 
either it may be a live connect or either it may be extract. Uh, this I will tell you in further. And tableau software is like we we need like tableau desktop main three parts: tableau desktop, tableau server, tableau portal. First I will tell you what is these are the tableau desktop, tableau server, and tableau related. First, first I will tell you tableau public. What is tableau? In three ways we can connect to the tableau: tableau public, tableau uh, online, and tableau desktop. Tableau public means uh, these are it's a free of cost. It's like a, a trial version where we can we can also uh, install in our uh, PC in home also. It's a trial version. We need to pay anything for this. It's a trial version. So first we need to log in to the server. And when we try to save the dashboard, it will ask. So if we create a uh, tablet report in tablet public, we need to save the where we need to save. Where we need to save this. We cannot save this in our desktop. So for this we need to have a long credentials for this. We need so credentials like email ID and password. So we can log in, in this way and we can save our reports, our workbooks here. Uh, there will be a one GB in free space by default. It is like it is for everyone. Everyone can log in and everyone can access our reports, which means we if I created uh, some reports and I saved in Tableau Public. So some other guys will see my reports. It's like it's a free of cost, it's a trial version, as I said earlier. So everyone can see this. This is like Tableau Public. And what is Tableau Online? Tableau online is nothing but a tableau online is nothing but like a tableau public preview. It is something like we need to purchase the memory in place of server. The in tableau public we are using uh, one GB RAM by default it's breaking the free of cost. But in tableau online we need to buy that. How much memory we want? We can buy it. So it's like a purchase of memory in the server. It is like cloud-based hosted service where we can purchase uh, how much memory we need and uh, no need to install server or no need to maintain server. Everything is done with that. For this, just we need to pay. We need to pay some amount for the server, how much uh, space we want. Now, once we buy this, here we can publish our reports, a dashboard. Here we can set permissions like uh, for which user I can give access, like. Uh, Pure access or edit access like this. It's kind of security feature. The in the how tableau works. We have three instructions like the how we can tab and the how we develop the tableau reports and how we share the our tableau development report to the users. This is the three simple steps. First connect. So that means we can connect a tableau in two ways. It's like a live connect or now to extract. Neither way we connect to the table. I will tell you in detail how to connect to this, how to connect to the and how to connect to the extract. And then analyze. Analyze means nothing but we we'll analyze the data and we will build the blue reports based on the requirement by using details of the We will analyze our data and we will build the table reports. Once we build the table reports today, we need to uh, keep this report. If you say uh, desktop, we, we can see our reports, but users want to see our data, uh, this report, and how we are sharing our tablet reports to users. So, it's like in tablet server, we can share our tablet reports. Where we can save our reports in tablet server. In tablet server, also, once we can open the report and we can uh, see the data, and if you want to download anything, we will have an export option where we can download our data also. So, in these three ways, we can have the words connect, analyze, and share. And like, we are connecting to connect and connect like connect our extra, and we build the tableau report and we share the report. In. So, this is the architecture, tablet architecture. Here we have, we can see in the left side, here we have all the databases. In N, I told you before, tablet will support N number of databases. So all databases, all the databases. So we don't want to purchase any extra here. If we have license for tablet desktop, then we can get license for server as well. This is the server. 
it will connect to tab in two ways file based and data based. If our uh, we are going to connect through extract means flash files means we go and we connect extra values from here. If we want to take again extract means we can take extract or directly we can build the tab with it. Or if we want to or if we're going to connect to data base means like uh, Oracle or SQL server data data anything data base we we'll connect from here then we are connecting to the data through server. We are connecting the data. So it's uh, after connecting to live connect means uh, we need to scroll the tables, we'll point out the table and all the tables we need to uh, we are find the we need to take all the tables we need to select and we build the table. When I say file based means it's like Excel. MS Access, uh, text file, uh, CSV, comma subject, like we have to use a n number of uh, files. So like this we can connect to the file based on tab view and build the tab view report or uh, publish it in uh, In a second, connecting to the uh, database. Tab view supports uh, so many databases like Oracle, SQL Server, Teradata, Green, VentureWise, those places go like this. And while connecting, we can do the table joins also. We are going for a number of table means. We need to select uh, multiple tables and we uh, need to select three uh, four tables and three four tables. We need to build the table means. We need to select three four tables and we need to start to report it to start developing our report and publish it. The center one is called this is the table server. Now there we have tab repository. You know, when you install tab it creates a tab repository here. Now, so when you create a connection to database server, it brings the data into two different ways. Either it brings extract data and save it in repository, or other way we can connect to live connection. Other way we can connect to live connection. Depending on the requirement, we need to connect to extra or live connection. Extract means bring in the data from the table catch. Here it is already stored in catchy. From catchy, we will bring this. Extract means our performance will be good if we are going for extract rather than uh, live connect. That will save it in catch. So for every drag and drop option, it will hit the uh, catch and get the data. So in the reporting level, if you have, we need to drag our fields, drag and drop option, it will move it to the database. So the data will be stored in catching. So the performance of the report will be much faster. Live connected performance will be slow because we are connecting to the database. So for every drag and drop option, it will hit the database and fetch the data from there. So the data will be so the cost of uh, getting the data performance will be slow. Here you can have it out like uh, why we need we, we, if we have extra why we are going for live for live it means some of the reports should be live back because users wants to track their business ever every half an hour while or hourly way based to check the data how the business is they would like to see the data based on the region wise in this region uh, how our business is going on before uh, before half an hour like this but hourly basis uh, analysis they want or they will go for they will, they will prefer for a live connector. And also, at last, uh, here it is a big advantage of tab. It's very user friendly because the visualization is very good and it is well accessible to desktop or electronic device like the iPhone, iPad. Most of the executives they build their own device and they started to access their support. They are no need to forward their machines from their. Uh, 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 tablets or their uh, uh, Androids, they can see their data, how their data is going like this. They can see. This is like a, this is a tablet. Package. These are all the uh, databases of uh, tablets, and we can take extracts. All these are the tablets server where the data is stored here, and we can pop it from here. This is a tablet. Package. And how uh, data will be packed. These are the data stores, maybe like a uh, database or it may be packed. And here we are taking the uh, extract here. Once we take the data, use the data from our machines. The uh, 
and we can change these colors and say, for example, if you put cases is there, or you don't want it, you want to put cases into red, so we can change the current into red. Like this, manually we can change these colors also. This is bullet charts, and this is heat map, this is a scatter plot. And if you have a scatter plot, we can change the symbols also. Now it is also changing the price. Like we can some number of uh, symbols we can uh, symbols we can change. This is funnel chart. And this is waterfall chart. Waterfall chart means uh, showing the data in positive some way. The data in the okay, business is good and we show in positive is great uh, colors. If the data is in negative, we can show in so by seeing this, we can identify that uh, in this report we have some negative value. So the business is somewhere in the so we need to include here like this, uh, which uh, here we are for minus 33 by 82. Here we need to improve our business based on areas, based on the data. So that by seeing this one concept, we can show that we can analyze that in some minus values in the business as well. This is the this last one that is like that. Total by adding all these properties of this cut total. And this is the Pareto chart. Pareto chart is nothing but like showing the actual amount and the, uh, how much uh, uh, business has been done in those of it. <coughs> For example, I'll tell you one simple example like uh, five pence and uh, five pences. Uh, 5 pence cost is like uh, more than 200k. In this 5 pence, 5 pence cost is 200k. But in that 5 pence, we have sold only 3 pence, sorry, 2 pence. And 3 pence are a penny. So, in percentage, how much pence are uh, sold? You can, you can uh, show here like total cost we spend on pence is 2000k. But how much we got only? Less than 20 percent means we need to improve here. We need to improve the business here. So only two pence have been so long. If you take this, here having five pences, five pences cost is less than uh, 100k. So that five, five pences have been so long. So we can see the percentage like 100 percent, we have reached 100 percent target. Five pences we have so Like this here, cost is more much. Percentage it is because it's still pending. We need to, business we need to, like this, we can show in character of chart also. By seeing this, we can easily analyze the business. Level. This is bar chart, we can show it. And this is the target line. We will give you the number here. If it meets the target line, it will show in the color. If it doesn't meet the target line, it will show in the color. It's also based on the information. And by seeing this, also, you can easily identify that no, these are the target lines. This is the line chart. Like this, we have n number of uh, charts here. Uh, these are all the charts. So, based on the requirement, we use the specific charts. Now, the main important thing is the difference between top TWB format and top TWB format. What is dot TWB and what is dot TWB? See, once we develop a report, we need to save the report. How we need to save? By saying there are two ways of saving our report. In dot W TWP or in dot TWP. If we say dot TWP format or report in dot TWP, what we have? See, I'm connecting, uh, I'm developing a dashboard with the Excel sheet. With one Excel sheet, full time time. Excel sheet, and I have developed that report and I have saved to my local PC. And now I need to share my report not in server, but I need to share to other person through mail. Then I am sending to mail. In his uh, machine, the Excel sheet is not there, which we use to create the report, which I use to create the report. The Excel sheet is not there in his PC. If I send by saving it with the dot tw format, he cannot open that. Why? Because he is not having that file. The data is not there. So it will like like a screenshot. It will 
can see a little screenshot, but you cannot open the clipboard because you don't have an Excel sheet. If you say this, see if you read here, interview is alone not enough for functional analysis because it only contains tab instructions by navigating the text. So you can see the picture of this there. Okay. The file will be open in the text press. So it's like a be like a XML almost like so you cannot open the report. If you are going for t.twpx format, it's like a if you are uh, developing a report and save with, saved with the dot .twpx format, and you send the report to one of the you know, sharing the report to others, you don't need to have any the Excel in his PC. You don't have it, you don't have the Excel in his PC. So still, he can open the report. Right, because this a package it is saved in a package, right? so this all data will be there in the uh, package. So he can open the data and he can see, he can open the report, and he can see the data. See the primary advantage of using dot TWT files, right? Analysis can be performed without network, no internet connections to your data. The data is already present on your computer packaged file. So by saving with not TWH format is just better option rather than not TWB because if we say with TWB format means the data should have uh, in this system also. So if you are not having the data means we cannot open the tablet. Uh, if you are saving dot TWB format, we no need to have data in this system. Because of the computer itself it is in package so the data will be there. How to publish the tablet? Recording data set. See, once we develop the report, we have an option for server option. Okay, I click server, we will publish your report. I click workbook. Here, our link is the production link, our own credential will be there. Before that, for publishing our report in server, we should have a group, a project group should be created in the server. In the server, the folder name should be there. That folder we need to uh, publish our uh, report in server. So, once for that, we need to go for uh, admin. So then we create, or if you have admin assistance, we can create. If you don't have admin assistance, admin, admin will create a folder for us in server and we will provide a link for us. After forwarding it, and we will provide a username and password for us. Once everything is done, in this way, we need to publish a server. Click on publish server, we have a server option. We need to place a text here or link and username or own credentials password. While publishing also uh, we can schedule the reports here. So after that we need to give here our folder name in public. Once then we can give our attachment name here in name of If you want to add any tag things, you can add tag in here. If you want to add if you want to see the reports, you can use the user users here. And here will be the dashboards. Click on the checkbox for all the dashboards to be published. And we have a scheduling option in the if you click on so for live connects, the scheduling option will come well because for live we need to refresh the data. Right? By default, if we hit the database for extracts only, we get the scheduling option here. If we click the scheduling option, we can like this, we get the data based on daily basis, our tab extraction refresh, or based on hourly basis, based on weekly basis, like whatever we need. Like this, we can schedule and we can click OK. Then our dashboard will be saved in the server. So from server also, we can access it. If you do the link to the users, means users, users will click the link. And by their own credentials, they can open the dashboard. This is how the uh, dashboard is. Dashboard needs to be published in server. <laughs> the performance. performance of that. Yes. If you like to see, if you are using one dashboard, the four worksheets, you would like to know which worksheet is taking how much time. Right? For that purpose, we can use this option. You will have a help button which you click it and start performance recording. So you can start the performance recording will be done. 
after a few minutes, just build it there and select stop performance recording. Then we, it will open on the sheet. There we can see for which works with the performance time is taken. Like we can see all the stuff. Just to open the app we put in the server. See, like this, once I create, once I click on the link, it will ask you to the password. Once I gave the password here, uh, it will show the projects. Checking projects. This is the server that I'm showing here. This is the server. Click the projects. In this project, uh, I told you right now, folder name will be there. Under the folder, we need to publish our reports. If, for example, OGM, CDR, is our folder. So we click on this folder. See our reports. These are the tab to test dashboard. This is the dashboard. This is the dashboard. This is the dashboard. All these dashboards will be there. And we can open the dashboard. <laughs> these are all the topics uh, which uh, we need to, which are in those that are interested to learn tablets. I will show you these are the topics, the main topics to learn. All the main topics, filters, beans, platform lines, public beans, data beans, general calculations, sets, various type of chats, calculated beans, and parameters are particularly very important. But without this tool, we cannot do the contact with reporting. We should be so I told you in starting that a uh, skill should be in, in Single table means we go like this and we select. It is extra show, it will be showing like this sheet names. And if we want to see the data here itself, you can see the data. So going for orders, this is, this is one tab, this is one tab, this is one tab. So this is first tab, orders. This is the data. Straight away, we can see the data. If you are going, if you need two sheets simultaneously, then set models and add on the return steps. So we have two sheets like this. In single table means you can select like this in the same way when you connect to database also it is the same way. If you connect to a single table means your table all tables will be there. If you select multiple tables means once you select a single table then add table then here you can select n number of tables will be there. You can select you want to view lines and you join here by default we can do in a giant temporal property like this we can do I'm not going deeply in how we need to join this so now I'm custom SQL means for having a query with you just to paste the query here okay and connect to our data source connect to our own tab now I'm connecting to Single table like 
models. See, these are all the fields. These are all the dimensions. These are all the pieces. I told you, dimensions will be in blue color. Measures will be in gray color. See, these are all the icons. A, B, C. Slash. <coughs> so, I'll show you sample data for the See, this is one worksheet. This, this is one worksheet. This one worksheet. They have some, like 10 point boxes in there. This is called one dashboard. All these worksheets will drag here. Like this. How many worksheets will not? We can drag here and we can build the dashboard. <coughs> now we are going to look at this sheet. Then, tell you a simple report. See by default, <coughs> when you drag a measure into this, it will sum. It will sum by default. Now it is in measure. Now we want to convert into it is created showing in this way means C. This three with these three columns we can take out the n number of tables. It will allow this text tables. So this is enabled. So we cannot do this. These are all enables. This, this, this. We cannot do this. So disable. See these are all enabled. See, we can create this report and we can create this report. Create this report. It's so very easy to learn tab. This body charts. Like now I'm creating a simple bar chart. See <coughs> what I took here. What are the colors here? This is region, central, east, south, west. These are all the region is in columns. Product category, furniture in here. Office of this is in orange. Technology is in green. So if you want to see some of sales in this place. Yes. Levels. So this now the colors. Uh, we need to uh, decrease size the size of the box like this. If you want to increase the table there is nothing that you can see the uh, data on top of it. <coughs> like that we can show the a simple Here is I take statements. And these are all the states here. These are all the states here. Show the computer is only on the Based on the selection of our state, they have reports. Reports change. Like this, this is simple. And also, the other sheet will be. In this way also we can take measure C measure names just drag here columns. We can drag measure values in text. See now you are here you are seeing number of is ABC. Drag measure values in text. 
in this round, you just get added this one. I don't want all these things, I need only profit sales. So, you can go here, can select what are all uh, measures you want to do, you want to sales and profit. Only these two will be there. And for this, I need to give formats. This is the very important, very basic thing. They won't tell you us do this. Once they uh, ask us to create a this, we need to do this. Okay. And I'm adding two dollars, two to three dollars. Like this, we can give dollars for other. I need to give colors. Colors means a total worksheet. I need to give color. I can give color like this. In the color as a reservation. Colors like this. In this color, like this, this alternative colors, the row bending in alternative colors, row bending, and then the size means it will take two columns into one color, two columns into one color, based on increasing uh, columns, we increase. So I will take only alternative colors, one color should be in one color, another color, another color. So like this. This is the row banding. And I need for totals for this. Which I can use the analysis of this. Analysis. Totals options. So answer totals. Analysis. Like this. So you can see here. See, grand total is there, total is there, before this total is there. Like this, you can see. It's a simple. I can see this is one shot. This is empty. Tab of format, cross tab. And these two we can drag in on tab. One already there. And based on the, I already took filter, so it will be the filter. State wise. Because it is a to from this box, so it is an enemy, it is not a threat. So I need to give this. I have an option for the play worksheets. This is like worksheet means like cross tab boxes are over here. Okay. And if you see, check this, two sheets are appearing. No, I want the data is there. Oh, I know the data is there. Like this. Like this, we can show the This is the basic thing. Fully tapping the code. Mm. Hope you guys will be interested in this. Thanks a lot. Thanks for doing this. Uh,